Uh -huh. <laughs> he knows that word. He knows that word. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's Friday night, and we are going to play some D&D &D tonight. I'm not DMing. I'm a player. So uh, the guy down there, he's the DM uh, in the middle there. So uh, he's going to take over, and I'm just going to go for the ride. All right. Well, welcome to session three, everybody, of uh, Cold uh, Sorceria. And uh, Cult of the Hydra is the name of the adventure we're running. And real brief recap, you guys uh, have been running around trying to solve the mystery of these murders. And when we left off last time, you guys were trying to find a, a place to stay over for the night. And uh, you ran into some trouble, uh, to say the least. After fighting all day uh, on your way home, you ran into some thugs who uh, belong to the Crow House group, uh, Crow House thugs, and um, managed to drive them off. Uh, but uh, you guys are a little bit beat up, and being first level, that's generally not uh, a great uh, thing. I am unconscious. It appears, but stable. Yes. I mean, so, you know, you uh, don't have a potion in your bag either. I looked. Let's go ahead and get started. You guys are on the map, unconscious. Hack is unconscious. Why you don't I have a bunch of corpses around you? I forgot why I'm in a bathtub. Uh, I don't know why you're in a bathtub. You're trying to go down the drain that you saw the rat in there no i'm not going no. down there <laughs> not by myself okay. uh he's I, I'm gonna he's scared he's like scared more. of a lot of things <laughs> Did, were we playing with a drawing tool or something yeah i'm liking a lot already it's gonna be good <laughs> awesome all right, healing word. I'm, I'm healing him this time instead of me twice. <laughs> oh. Hey, what's up, Sambarchi? All right. Cheap viewers. Back, get some uh, I do have cheap viewers exhaustion. already. I don't... I don't need more cheap viewers. <laughs> you need what's... generous viewers, right? Right? Yeah. We don't need cheap viewers. We have cheap players. What clan was this? Were these thugs from? They were the Crow House thugs. I feel like I need a tune-up. Um, well, I want to go over and check one of these guys out. See what kind All of right. loot's on him. See if there's any uh, notes. So, did I throw them in the party sheet? I thought I did. Throw some stuff in the party sheet. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I want one of those scimitars. I'm going to take one. So, I threw their goods. And they're carrying scimitars, mace, uh, and some copper and some gold. I've thrown that into the party sheet. Uh, so, Whoa. go ahead and Whoa, take Whoa, they get gold pieces. Take. Wow, I'm rich now. Rick. Yeah, one of the guys had gold pieces. The rest all had copper. <laughs> Even I don't think Barney's too familiar with coinage too much, so he's like, "Oh, copper, nice, shiny. These taste funny." <laughs> and I know we had threatened, we had told them to not attack us, or else they would get hurt. Mm -hmm. and they attacked us anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, were we able to glean any kind of insight as to why they attacked us? Did they uh, a unfortunately, boss you killed them before uh, the opportunity to interrogate them came up. Didn't one of them say, like, drop the right. case, you know, and then started to rough us up? As yeah. they were running away, yes. One of them had ordered you to uh, drop the investigation. Okay, that, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Drop the. Ca I was thinking case. What? I think it's a suitcase. What? And the investigation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drop the investigation. Drop the case. We just did a beer run. <laughs> Snatty light. Uh, and the other guy ran off like down this way, but obviously, if we look down that way, he's long gone. Um, the one's that rat that lures over here. Mm -hmm. He's he went this way. <laughs> I'm pointing down the sewer grate. He sure did. Let me take the movement lock off. And, yeah, that white rat went under there. And if you remember correctly, there was some special white rat. Yeah. He had his own art. He had his own art. He had his own custom drawn art. That's right. And you want to bark at the rat, DJ? If he puts it up on the screen. There you go. There's a rat right there. You can bark at it. Man, that rat already that? outsmarted us <laughs> once. I'm not going down after <laughs> he, it. He said. He said. He's working at it now. <laughs> what is it? Is it a rat? <laughs> he can't get to it. It's okay. Does that grate look like it can be removed? So somebody could get down there? Uh, not easily. Barney's going to uh, like squeeze through and then push it up. And then put it back and then squeeze back through and go, Yep. You can uh, squeeze down and attempt to push it up. Uh, it doesn't budge. Oh. He's like... It's not a manhole cover. The grate is, like, set into the the road. Uh, it's... These, these bolts probably hold it in pretty good. All right, that's enough. <laughs> uh... Does anybody want that other scimitar? Because if not, I'll, I'll take I it. I cannot one. use it. I wish I could. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Scimitar. And just mm, as a reminder, <gasps> uh, you guys were visiting the Palace of Portals. Uh, where is that on this map? I know I had it. The Palace of Portals. We're over there now. If that's where we're at. You you were over I think here. The palace thing was that's over the, here. It's number fifteen. Fifteen oh, okay. is the palace of portals. Dun 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 dun. Move our token. And oh. uh, Whoa. yeah, you were. Sorry. You were moving. It is getting on towards evening after your various combats and running through the where, streets. Where have we? Do we have uh, a hotel room or something? I don't even remember. Uh, you were not told so. But, uh... One second, where's that? What's the guy's name? There we go. Hydrate! Fantasy Grounds Academy. Hey, what's up, Playground? <sighs> all right, so uh, as you guys are standing around looking at all of the dead bodies, um, you all hear a ringing inside your head, and uh, it's like a like a alarm bell going off, kind of inside your head. Echoing in between your ears, and it says, uh, "When you're all done playing, you might want to get some rest." And uh, you recognize the voice as belonging to Am Amon, the androgynous individual that uh, works for Azalon. And Eamon gives you the location of an inn called, interestingly enough, the No Name Inn. And it is located here at number 14 on the map. He describes how you can get there. 
know. Thank you, voice in my head. If, it, can we call is you she painted? Theory? I mean, they... Sorry, go ahead, Robin. I was going to say, are they paying for it? Because I, th uh, uh, it's awfully far away from where all those bodies are getting dropped. Maybe we should be closer to that. Yeah. Um, They're not paying for it. They just suggested it. It's a home that uh, is used occasionally for some of the watchers. These dead guys are paying since there's some coins in the party sheet. <laughs> yeah, because we had talked about uh, getting a room like in that uh, in that courtyard, right? Around Which is called him. Oh, yeah, the uh, Witch's yeah. Cauldron is what we're talking about. Yeah. Matter of fact, did, did we make it over there and I, I was taking a bath, maybe? Uh, I don't think see. we got that far last session. No, no. You We ended right where you guys started here at yeah. the scene of the dead bodies. You did say we would level up, but. As soon as you lies. take a rest. Oh. Yep. As soon as you take a long rest. <laughs> Let's go take a long rest, guys. That sounds good. I'm hurting. Yeah, why would we take Ammon Kane's advice now? Let's go to a different place. <laughs> Let's go get in a fight first. Fifteen uh, and 13's right here. Or the other place is way over here, right? Yeah, it's like that one or something. Yeah, that's true. Okay, here's here's going to be the thing that's funny. On the map of the square, the master square, it shows the witch's cauldron, right? Right off from where you went, right over here. But if yeah. you look on the Sorceria map, it's labeled the witch's cauldron as right there, number 13. Completely across town. I mean, there's two. <laughs> It's there's magic, two. man. There's two entrances on two different sides of town yeah, for convenience. There you go. One Probably location that franchised to two locations. The Witch's we Cauldron see. East and the Witch's Cauldron West. You on know. the social area, we don't see the key, so we don't know what number right. is what. Right. Intentionally. All right. Um, <clears throat> so you can go to the Witch's Cauldron. Uh... But it's mostly a, a tavern. It's not a yeah. We're gonna go to rooms 13, to rent, right? That's right here. Yeah, you you can head to thirteen and get a meal, but they do not have rooms to rent. Oh, or, which was the place that or fourteen? Fourteen is 14. the one there. Oh, okay. 14. No name in. Yeah, let's yeah. just go there. It's close. We need to rest. Yeah, my odors are leaking out. That's not all that's leaking out of you. Oh, excuse me about that. <laughs> I shouldn't have ate all that guacamole. Press right. the digitation, clean it up. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks. I think you're going to press the digitate and make it worse. <laughs> hey, you head on over to the new No Name Inn, and uh, it looks kind of run down. It's a small, like, bunkhouse. Um, uh, in looks like pretty poor shape you see very few customers there uh and there's an elderly woman uh working inside kind of at the there's like a little front desk area entrance area and uh this this little old lady she looks maybe four foot five you know long gray hair down her back kind of scraggly what can you do for you my name's marza are we need to rest. Well, you come to the right place. Rooms are silver a night. Breakfast oh. is included, but not lunch or dinner, so don't be around then. What exactly does included mean? I keep a pot of oatmeal running overnight. You can oh. eat as much as you like. Yes, I'll be here. What time can I start eating? I usually put the pot out around 5 a.m. Okay, you guys better get there before 5, because I'm going to eat uh, some oatmeal, whatever that is. Uh, I am not going to eat oatmeal. 
But I will pay my silver piece. Um, I have these coins. Did I get a gold? Where's the damn coins? You know, at? um, somebody else could sleep in my room because I'm not going to need the bed. Well, I don't need a bed either. I just need a bowl. <laughs> I can sleep on my shield. I thought Barney was going to sleep inside a hack. Sometimes he doesn't like me too. He could, but Hack will just stand there. I have sentries rest. I don't have to sleep. I just go motionless for six hours. Yeah, but I'm fully conscious during that time. Come on, DM. Don't tell him I sleep in there. He doesn't know. <laughs> but if somebody else wants to sleep in my bunk, I'm not using it. Barney is sleep with you. He's like, I don't need your bunk, but you can put my shield on your bunk and I can sleep in that. Good enough. Well, I deducted my silver. Fine. All right. Somebody else can have my oatmeal, too. You, If you're not down here at five, I'm having it. Yes, for sure. Will there be anything else you be needing while you're here? Um, A phase plasma rifle in the 40-watt range? <laughs> Fresh out of those. I'm sorry, Sonny. Do you, do you have any rats? I want to talk to a rat. Rats? Uh, there's a few around town. You can look through the grates. They, they're around. Uh, the grates are bolted, some of them. Uh, this place looks like it's got rats. So we, we went to 13 to eat dinner first? We can go back to 13. It's just up the street. Yeah, we can probably put our gear, some of our stuff here, and take a bath, maybe? I'm probably covered in all kinds of blood. Do they, does she, can, does she have a bath? Is there a bath here? Excuse me. Can I take a bath in, in your kitchen sink, maybe? The, ba the baths are downstairs. Oh. Go down three floors. Don't bother any of the rooms you pass along the way. Don't open any of the doors. You know, the usual. <laughs> Privacy is important. And there's no way this building people. looks like it has three full f stories below ground. <laughs> yes. But that's where she instructs you to go. It looks Walking down, down the hall stairs. with the... Uh towel wrapped around them and slippers slip 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 going all the way down three steps three flights of steps i've had that happen too many times most of them don't bother with the towel what's a towel not the slippers either <laughs> what's a towel for i don't have nothing to cover up <laughs> so after we eat I'll lead you guys back at the inn at sunrise. Where are you going? I'm going back to my old house. Oh, that's right. You live here. You have a house? <laughs> my parents do, yes. I have not been there for, had not been there for quite a while. Yeah, what are parents? Did they throw you out of your out of the basement? Is that what happened? <laughs> Got kicked out of your parents' basement. That You're thirty-four years old. Area. <laughs> but I decided to ad go adventuring. Too much magic, not enough wrestling clubs. Ended up on a ship. Right. Were we on the, the uh... same ship? That crashed? No, mine was a real ship. Yours was a freak of nature space ship going through the astral sea. <laughs> Wait, you've been in space? I was born in space. Yeah. That's crazy. This is the first time I haven't been in space. Is, yeah, me too. This is the first time I've ever been on land. Sometimes it moves on its own. Don't don't get freaked out. I felt it a couple of times. I thought it was my stomach growling. It's probably both. 
Oh, yeah. His whole body shakes. I like land so far. Space isn't very friendly. I hear it's cold this time of year. All right, so uh, level up? Yeah, let's uh, take you to the inn. So you uh, go ahead and rest up at the inn uh, and meet Marza. And with that, I will give you all a long rest. Everybody level up to level two. All right. I'm going to take her just because I want print the destination. I'm going to take a mage. <laughs> take your level of mage. I always think that Valtrix sat on that side of her. I, I don't know. Are you guys oh, I don't know. The, are you guys in the wrong seats today? No? No. No. <laughs> I don't always imagine you were over there. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. She looks like she's right up against the wall. It's your DM. You don't have time to pay attention. Yeah, I don't pay attention to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second level barbarian. What I get? I got... Hit points. Two more because of toughness. Yeah. Danger sense and reckless attack. All right. Sounds about like Barney. Nice. Danger sense. Did you feel that? I picked up cunning action. So that gives me um, some coding stuff. Oh, we're not using. I have advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects that you can see, such as traps and spells. To gain this benefit, you cannot be blinded, deafened, or incapacitated. I noticed it didn't do your max hit points properly. Um, so everybody, when you do level up, make sure to go into that class and level window and do the little Roly -poly. Uh, number toggle. Roly-poly, I wonder that to hang up. I don't know. You can maybe reach out to the constitutional amendments author and see if that's a known issue or known conflict I didn't change mine so maybe my or did you do my... well i fixed yours oh, okay. yeah i fixed yours yours was the first i noticed since a barbarian should have more than 16 at second level 27 is a lot though for second level <laughs> it is is there a place i go for eldritch invocations or do i just manually do this uh, like agonizing like blast. So Let agonizing play. blast, just tweak your eldritch blast since all it does is add your charisma. Okay, the other one I was going to pick was devil's sight. So, oh, thank you. And and that one you can add directly to your character sheet, um, to update it. That goes on where your senses are. Just do a devil sight 120 feet. Okay, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I guess Danger Sense is going to give me the advantage on dexterity saving throws against traps and spells. That is a good one. Good and uh, Jeremiah, I tweaked the hex on your character sheet. You notice there's a lot more um, options there now. And there's one effect that will just stay on you permanently. Okay. Um, and that's the where it says hex damage if target. You can you can remove that too, but you add it to yourself whenever you cast the spell. But then the other one, there's one of six that you apply to your target, and that gives them the dis disadvantage on whatever it's, you know, intelligence check, wisdom check, whatever they get. Thank you. My, my favorite is dexterity, because then they get disadvantage on initiative. <laughs> yeah. That's all, like, almost always, that's the one I use. <laughs> huh? I could have that on me. Enemies everywhere. All these people are eye open. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just leave it on. Yeah. 
you'd have to remove it if you were like unconscious or something, but for the charisma modifier bonus, do I just put the number in or is there a code I can like card? Uh for the damage roll? Yeah. Uh what you would do where's the what you would do is where it says stat, just change that to charisma. Okay, that's it. All right, thank you. That's Sorry it. about that. Haven't right. played a warlock before, but I remember. Charisma is your your base spell stat anyway. You could also have it set to base. Because your your spell casting is set to base as the default for any spell casting like DCs or whatever. I don't see any uh, any items we need to sell or anything in my inventory. So, All right, you left the last mace and heavy crossbow there with the dead bodies. It's in the party sheet. Yeah, Barney wouldn't be carrying them around unless somebody has uh, wants me to carry them for party stuff. All right, going, going, gone. Not greedy characters. <laughs> like, not even quite sure what to do with coins yet. Barney's like, you can buy <laughs> stuff? These deep magic spells are what? There's some crazy ones. There's a charm of long standing where I can charm a person for a full day, but I'm also charmed by them. <laughs> wow, chicka, wow, wow, right? It's like. It comes with role playing outfits. <laughs> John. Yes. Um, I'm trying to get guidance and I've got a bunch of options and none of them look coded. Okay. Well so they affect. All right. So let me there you go so that one should give the automatic a check whenever they make a a check you see it on your character sheet yep it just popped up thing I believe I have shared the module. Uh, let me double check, make sure. But the 5e automatic effects. There's one that's for spells. Not charge of spells. Come on, Poppy Milk. You can level up. We know you can. So I've just picked my last bow. I guess I could click ahead of time. Nice party balance. Wizard, Barbarian, Monk, Rogue, Cleric, and Warlock. I don't think you can have a better balance party. You got six people that sure helps yeah it does kind of 
change the odds. Yeah. I ran a one shot for my local friends one time, and they're like, "Ooh, it'd be fun if we all played rogues." And I'm like, "No, not really." And they're <laughs> like, "Yeah, we're all gonna play rogues." I'm like, "Okay." Arcane, one arcane. The first strap was <laughs> frightened, frightened for an hour. The whole thing was like an hour. The whole in t in game time was an hour. So three rogues were frightened for an hour, which means they get disadvantage on everything. So they couldn't sneak attack. They I'm like, this is good for you guys. And the first it, trap was it, a magical it, trap. <laughs> it was a learning moment. Not so Anybody much. Anybody still need a minute or? good to go I'm good I'm still picking a spell because my computer's being slow but you can go on all right yeah I still have to pick a spell but you, you can go it's okay okay uh, well I don't have anything what do you guys want to do uh, the last clue that you've uncovered in talking with the various people at least the last thing that you haven't been able to uh, investigate is finding a brewery well, we know the, in, uh, the it was rough a, section. Yeah, it was a brewery in in the palace ward. Do, do yes. Yes. There's one right near the palace of portals called the Blood Barrow Brewery. Right behind. Pub crawl. Number sixteen. That's, it's a good place to start. <laughs> I, I would also like to stop at a uh, uh, like an armory or a weapon shop along the way if we. If we I would it. too. Yeah, we should have kept that mace and crossbow to sell. Or did somebody grab it when I wasn't looking? Bernie's gonna throw up about three pounds of oatmeal from breakfast because he thought it was gonna be good and he ate it all, but it turns out. No, the mace and crossbow got left behind. Mason crossbow? Yeah. We talked about that. I'm not... You want me to carry it? I got a lot of, uh... Weapons coded on the sheet. But... You never know when I need to improvise. Bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, or... Improvised throne, bludgeoning, yeah. piercing, or slashing. You never know. You never know. <laughs> There's always something. What was the name of the kids? Or the, the group uh, that they belong to? The Urchins? Or. The something something boys. The. The night. The. Uh, we've got, got it here. Abracadabra Boys. Yeah. Led okay. by Midnight Jack. What's it to you, Gov? Is that with a Z? Uh, it was not written with a Z. It was just B O Y S. Abracadabra Boys. <laughs> <laughs> They're a, a new boy band. Games mostly Final So 16 was the nearest brewery to the Palace of Portals that you were aware of. We just Blood double check that there aren't any. Well, Barney does, anyways. He double checks that there aren't any other breweries on our way to that one. We, uh, we've got to investigate them all. <laughs> you do not see any other breweries in the 15-minute uh, walk that it takes you to get down that street and around that corner. How much is it to hire or a down carpet? That street. <laughs> uh, not that uh, I want to. I was just curious. I do have that. Uh, you like whistle as like you guys are finishing up your gruel, like I'm walking in with a pastry, finishing up a pastry, new different clothes on. A silk shirt and trousers. 
Oh, are those for mommy and daddy? <laughs> Do you have your school clothes on? Yes, to both. Uh, I'm rolling for my sartorial expertise. Oh, I rolled poorly. Does this do his clothes look nice Perception or cheap? Yes, to both. <laughs> nice and cheap. I saved your um, gruel for you. <laughs> On your shoe. <laughs> Cough up a big blob of... Uh, so flying carpets depends on if you want a hourly hire or daily hire or purchase. Oh, wow. Yes. What are you looking for? It would just have been a, I mean, curiosity. I don't want to hire them, but how long, how much would it cost for an hour? Like a taxi. Taxi. So a three by five, a four by six, five by seven, or six by nine. However it takes to load the six people in this party, like the big one, probably. Although, I can fly by, by myself. Can... 800 pounds oh shit so, oh. where's the party weight extension <laughs> where's the party weight extension um how much does a whole party weigh so the largest carpet is five but five gold an hour the five gold an hour made of. i can't afford that or 40 <laughs> bucks 40 gold for the whole day i can't afford that either how much is it to made buy one aluminum then our weight's not that much. If he's made from cast iron, then we weigh a lot. Tungsten. I imagine, imagine he was like cast iron, but... That should be a party sheet tab, a party weight. Right. You have each character... I mean, I guess it doesn't come up enough. How much they weigh plus their equipment and... weight plus their weight in their... How tall they'd be if they all stood on each other's shoulders. Yeah, you could have all kinds of stuff. I mean, fantasy. How big of a thing they could hug if they all hugged <laughs> together? Oh, if you do the cobalts on a trench coat thing, you could. <laughs> what did you just say? Yep. If you want to purchase a large carpet, you can get one for the low, low price of fifty thousand gold. <sighs> do you take a check? That's for the largest one. For the smallest one, like an individual one, it's only ten thousand gold. Is that new or used? <laughs> That's brand new. Brand okay. You can find we a, get a threadbare one for cheap. Get one all beat up that kind of has a suspicious blood stain on it. Slides to the carpet. left when you fly it. <laughs> Got the the balloon people out front. <laughs> Come down to crazy owls. Just count carpets. Carpet's so cheap, I'm giving Come them away. Mr. Adeen. Why would you buy from anyone else? <laughs> Mr. Adeen's got the best carpets in town. Only He's used by an old Aldi. woman every week to go to Temple. <laughs> Alright, so you guys ready to walk over here to the brewery in the morning right, before yeah. they open? Early yes. morning brewery run. Get nice and sloshed before we go anywhere. All right, so you guys head on over here, and I will pull that up. This one. While we head over there, I want to keep my ears open for any gossip about another corpse being found. <laughs> Just in case. Oh, yeah, I updated my account. Two sessions <laughs> since the DM has killed King. <laughs> New record. It's a Brand new record. So none of those thugs were children that we fought last week? No, shockingly. Okay. None of those were children. Maybe next time. Maybe, yeah, maybe next time. One of us has to learn a spell that de-ages people just so everyone we kill was children. <laughs> Power word, reduce age. All right, so as you arrive, let me put you guys on the map. Come on, crab. Not 
grabbing the tokens. Um, you as you arrive, you do them one one at a time. Yeah, I got, I got you. You should not be able to see inside, correct? Uh, correct. You just okay. see the bad guy or the yeah. new, the laid devil. Uh, yeah, we see this guy right here. We only see what we're not supposed to. Don't worry about it. Well, you're not supposed to see him. I know he's too close to the. He was sticking line of through sight. the line of <laughs> he's sight. Gone. Yeah. yeah. He's peeking know. through the curtains. <laughs> not to worry. There's no <laughs> devils or demons in this place. No worries. Really noticed. So, uh, okay, as you get here, the warehouse ahead of you seems boarded up, despite the fact that smoke and steam stream from copper pipes jetting out of the building at random intervals. In fact, the sounds of working can be heard from outside the place, even though it would appear empty from a quick glance. The building is tall and narrow, with a dozen, with a dozen or so high leaded windows, two regular, though chained shut, doors, and one pair of large warehouse doors that are similarly sealed. Three tall chimneys rise from its roof like the prongs of a pitchfork though only two of them pump black smoke into the atmosphere. So these are the two main uh, big double doors, um, mm -hmm. warehouse doors. And then there's another single door here and another door kind of on the other end of the building. So you can wander around the building. Uh, let me turn off token lock. Yeah, go ahead. You can get a feel for the layout. And this thing here uh, is actually the second floor of this. So okay. Oh, okay. Just ignore that. That's not its own. I building. can fly. Can I see anything higher up? I know everybody can fly in this town, so they probably close the blinds. But yeah, all of the windows are shuttered up and and blocked off. All of the uh, you know anything that might have an opening. There's there's the pipes that you see the smoke spewing out of, but uh, beyond that, you don't see any. Uh, any way to look in. And you said the two main double doors were chained and padlocked. All, all three sets of doors, yeah. The two double doors plus the other two single doors are all chained up with a uh, with a lock. From the outside? That seems From the weird. outside. So they're keeping people from getting it, out? It, it looks like it's supposedly shuttered up and boarded up and, you know, shut down. But it's obviously actively working, work going on inside. Plus, we know there's somebody inside already because we show up looking out the window. Uh, I would like to listen at this door and see if I can, or hear if I can hear anything through it. I want to do something as well. Poppy, go up and fly down the one chimney that's not smoking and see what you can see. Alrighty. Wait, did you... Just by yourself. It'll be fine. Did... <laughs> uh, the chimney pipe's pretty small i mean it, it's you know maybe a six inch pipe out the top so i don't think you'd be able to fit that i was just going to look down it maybe drop something uh okay um <laughs> yeah you, you can go ahead and uh and drop something down it's uh you know it's about you know, 30 feet up above the uh the rest of the building that the pipe goes up the one that's not smoking okay what do you want yeah. to drop down it a single copper piece okay uh it goes which, which down and you hear a ping and uh that that's all you can hear you can't really see anything um looking down the pipe you think maybe you see something vaguely the color of copper but it's flat but it's it's really hard to tell so it looks like a small copper piece that was just dropped down a pipe was it? no 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 <laughs> it, it like looks like copper the copper piece <laughs> fell and hit something a copper vat a larger piece of copper a vet, copper vat or something i thought you were being a smart ass <laughs> no i was not <laughs> you said there's that a... much of a smart ass <laughs> you said there's windows up higher mm -hmm. there's leaded uh windows but they're all like boarded up and uh, uh, you know the curtains are drawn on the inside. They they trying to give the impression of uh, nobody here. Or but well, we definitely can hear stuff. Doors. 
and the ground up in front of it to see can I tell if there are recent tracks or horse droppings or anything that would indicate these doors have been used to take out barrels or carts with barrels on them okay give me an uh, investigation check for listening at the door correct I enabled my devil sight, sorry. That should be automatic if you did it to your character sheet. I did. I just saw the effect and I clicked it and I, I derailed everything because that's what I did. So apologies. I oh, mean, that's fine. It should work. You can play with it. Oh, it should be devil sight. Barney's uh, curious as to what a horse nugget tastes like if we find it uh so hack you were listening at the door you do not hear anything at that door uh and luke you were looking uh, investigation um do you think we'll get in trouble if i try to pick this lock not if we don't tell we've got these badges that they basically give us immunity right go for it all right i'll hold out the badge to the lock and say i'm going to pick you now i have permission and then i'm going to try to pick it uh there are no heavy tracks as if you know heavy barrels or whatever were being brought in and out there is uh occasional foot tracks but not a lot you you think there's not a lot going in and out through these doors all right, and then does it smell like a brewery, or does it smell like they're burning something else? Ah, very good. Give me a perception check. Ah, you don't even need a perception check. It does. Uh... Hold on. Uh, it doesn't smell like ale. It doesn't smell that that yeasty smell that you expect at breweries there's an almost fruity smell in the air lambics zima all right so as we walk over toward the door and weaving in between him everybody who's scattered out 70 feet <laughs> we're in fireball the, formation uh, the smell is slightly different Doesn't smell like a brewery. I gotta figure out this guy's voice. He keeps changing. He's going through puberty. It's because he just saw his parents. He's a mommy for a couple hours. Barney's checking out these, uh, these big doors. Okay. Um,. He wants to see if he could look in or under or squeeze his freaking eyeball in there. <laughs> Somewhere. Uh, you poke and prod around, and uh, you think, like, even stuff's been stuffed under the the door jam. Um, so they, they seem to try to really seal it well from the light. You can't see through anything, really. <laughs> I mean, it has to be like a at least a one inch gap so if it's not that big yeah. you can't squeeze in <laughs> and uh hack you said you are gonna pick the lock i'm going to try yes all right uh are you attempting uh, to pick it stealthily or without stealth he's singing um, loudly the whole well time. i believe i have permission because of my badge so i'm doing it without stealth Okay. So I'm not got, very wise. I, he's got the crowbar and the ballot out. He's like, here, I'm going to ping it this way. Oh, ping, yes. ping. I'd like yes. to give him guidance. Ooh. Okay. As, as he starts doing that, can I be like, no, shh, be quiet. <laughs> uh, somebody will have to tell me to be quiet. All right. Do you want up the tower? Uh, no, just go ahead and roll down. Twenty-one is definitely good. So you play around with the lock, and uh, plunk, the lock uh, pops open. 
Yeah. I will. Um, the, can I remove the lock from both sides of the chain and just hold it loose in my hand? Yeah. All right. I'm pocketing it. There are bo boards over the, the door as well, but the, there is also the chain. That's fine. I'm pocketing the padlock. You never know. Okay. The doors open in. I'm like, yes, bonus. No, I'm kidding. Um, Anybody want to try? And I'll, I'll step back. I'm not going to try to open the door. I got the lock off. Well, Barney, physical labor. Barney will attempt to pry off a couple of the boards just with his bare blob. Is this? Or okay. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't have it. a crowbar. I don't think. <laughs> Do I have a crowbar? Let me look. No. Picturing one of those sticky hands trying to take apart like a popsicle stick house. <laughs> He'll, like, use part of his shield to pry with. All right. Um, give me a strength check. Just strength. There's no athleticism here. All right. Um, you have no trouble yanking on that board, and it pops off, and... You see there's nails, you know, that were driving into it. They're now sticking out of the board. There's two or three nails. And um, wow. the metal of the nails, there's little glowing red runes on the edges of the nails. That's fine. That's me. Can I, can I read what the runes are? I, I would uh, also like to take a look at them if I can. Give me a arcana check. I'm taking an improvised weapon out of this thing. Board with nails. Can you cut that for me? <laughs> also have a chain. <laughs> Keep rolling mm, through. Neither yeah. of you have any clue. Chain. Those are death. Those are runes. I swear yes. my life on it. I don't think they're even magical. I think it's a trick. Are, maybe <laughs> they're silent screaming nails. Fungi. When you pull them out, they start screaming silently. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're doing. Only dogs can hear them. Right. <laughs> is that enough to open the door one board uh yeah you can give me one second and you will be able to open the door uh, maybe we should check it for traps <laughs> barney looks right. over at ha hack and said you check it for traps yet <laughs> he no the door. would you like me to uh yeah he closes i suppose the door. i could back so sure do you need an you investigation need or perception? No, some... He's reading. What happens when you open the door? It blows up. Give me, give me one moment. Trying to find somebody. Too many. He was over here hiding. I'm slowly inching back away from the door. <laughs> All right. So Glowing who's opening words. the door? I'm. I want, don't want to open the door. I want to make sure it doesn't look booby trapped. At least as best I can from this side. Okay. I'm, I'm looking so you're for traps. You're inspecting for traps after you've ripped the boards out and undone all of the padlocks. All right. Well, I did the padlock. I didn't rip any boards out. But yes, we're we're Give still me... looking for traps. All right. Barney's Give holding like three a, boards uh, in his hand. You want to check it to see if it's Investigation check. You do not find any traps. It's perfectly safe. Okay. Barney opens the door. Okay. He just steps in. Shake. Oh, look. All right. Well. There's an appointment uh... desk. Yeah, I do a flyby. I see what's in there, and I keep going like I don't. <laughs> like, nothing to see here. I don't know these guys. I'm, I'm just see. passing through. Nothing not to them. see here. Sorry. Uh, we're 
going to start off with Ari. All right. Uh, well, they've opened the door, so uh, I'll just uh, come over here behind them and kind of look over their shoulders and see what I can see. You see a lightning bolt heading directly towards us. <laughs> As we're all standing in the street line. sounds like somebody dragging a dresser across a wood floor. <laughs> a little bit. Like, kind of a hollow sound of dresser, right? Like a... Well, right. yeah, you empty right. it first. You come over and look, and the first thing you see in here, uh, around, you can kind of... Yeah, you're not really in a position to see. Barney would be able to see it, but portraits of handsome women line the walls of this room. The place is paneled with oak, through, though the polished wood does little to disguise the scent of brimstone. A small desk covered with neatly stacked papers serves as a basic reception area beside a set of stairs leading up. And uh, in the room, you can see two uh, devils that kind of... Well, this guy, you need to back up. Uh, yeah, I can see three. Oh, yeah, he's in the doorway. Kind of looks like that, except more... Uh, did that share on your guys end? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Pokey. Except wow. more metal okay. blades than uh, than thorny in in nature. I couldn't find a good picture. Do they, that look, one. Okay. do they look metallic? Like they met, do like look metallic. Robots. Oh, okay. Uh, not, not so much like robots, more fiendish than robotic. Okay. Uh, As in more demonic. She just, she just like looks over her shoulder and goes, holy crap, and uh, stumbles back a little bit. And uh, she will ready in action and ready um, a firebolt. Uh, so if, if these things start uh, attacking anybody in the party uh i'll shoot at him okay all right uh so this thing comes up to you and uh starts speaking in infernal do you speak infernal does it sound gnomish does not and nope. might speak uh, I think, Hacko, yeah, he I taught guess. me gnomish in common. That's all he taught me. Morgan is the only one who speaks infernal. No, Poppy Milk does too. Do you? It's not on. Is it on your character sheet? Yeah, I put it under languages. Is that not where I should have put it? For some reason no, it duplicated is. a line, and I don't know why. But it's because you have both infernal and Sylvan on the same line. There should be one per line. Oh, okay. No problem. So you understand it as well. Very good. Um, and the uh, the blade devil looks down at Poppy. He kind of tall, uh, looking down at Poppy. Poppy, or Barney, or Barney. Sorry. Barney. Barney. Barney just looks up In, and says, "Infernal." We're here to make an appointment, and I point to the desk. <laughs> And uh, you see a large, long blade uh, in its hand as it uh, looks like it's getting ready to, to strike you. It's this, this not the appointment book. You put that out. Don't take that out. No. No. 
Uh, Barney starts to turn red. Uh oh. Luke. We can't hear you, Sven. Are you talking? Gonna move up 15 feet. Get out. We can shut the door. And I'm going to toss a little distraction at this guy. Okay. Uh, with that, it is ready to action goes off. So go ahead and roll your damage. just did to try it again sorry you you have barney targeted all right you do a little bit of damage to it his readied action goes off as he swings this large blade at barney right this is your board. Uh, Four points this is of just, damage. This is just like World War One. It's gonna set off my ready to action now. Okay. Uh, it's like they assassinated an archduke or something. Uh, so uh, was that a, a minus two to shoot through the door at that guy, John? Uh, you're passing through two squares, two minus five two characters. Yeah, you'd be a minus five. Okay. Oh, Barney's turn. Well, Barney's going to rage because he just got hit, so mm -hmm. let me drop the old rage on himself. And... <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I, I was supposed to fix that one. <laughs> yeah, we want uh, uh, Tarion's rage. Fluke, you said for us to move out, right? So Barney's gonna like smack this guy with this board that's got the nails in it, because that's what he's got in his hands. So I'm gonna use improvised melee. Here. Okay. Oh, this board. <laughs> uh, piercing? Because it's got nails in it? Or bludgeoning? What do you want? Um, yeah, piercing's good. <laughs> he smacks him with his freaking board. Ow! Four points of damage. Four points. And then, uh... He's going to just, like, dip out, like, shutting okay. the door behind him. Like, Nitch, you want me out, Shy? And he just, like, squeezes under, like, you know, his legs or whatever. I thought we were going to make an appointment. Sorry. Did they just close the door? I did. Oh. That's what Fluke told me to do. Come outside and close the door. All right, heck. Door is closed. Door is closed. I'm going to step back away from it and ready a thrown hand axe for if one of those guys comes through the door. Okay. Poppy. Here. Try to look nonchalant, but ready Eldritch Blast if uh, somebody comes out looking aggro. 
Okay. Ooh. Are there Lemures around that we don't know about? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Remember in Descent of the Avernus, they were farting all the time. Morgan. Okay, did I understand what they say, said? Did I hear it from where I'm standing? You did. I didn't see anything pop up. You did not you see... You mean the like, words? What they... Yeah, what did they say? Oh, uh, basically it was uh, leave. Oh, that I mean that makes sense. Get <laughs> out! Get out! <laughs> um. To translate it or? Yeah, I tell everybody. Oh, they just told us to leave. <laughs> I think we're trespassers. They might even own that building and be legally allowed yeah, to be they, there. They, they might not have <laughs> liked it that we just barged in and broke down their door. We have badges. Th we can, we can go where we want. We, we're the somebody's. You're thinking of American cops. These are not American cops. These are Sorcerian cops. I actually have boots. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to yell in there. Yeah, we we need to investigate. We uh, are um, tasked to investigate all breweries. Okay. And you see see our amulets that I'm hiding around the corner so you can't see mine? <laughs> <laughs> we wish to show them our amulets. I start looking for mine. I mean, maybe I'll come up here so they can see me, and then I'll show my. Well, the door <laughs> the door is closed right now, so. Yes. Oh, the door sorry, is I, closed. I I missed that. All right. Well, so guys, what are we what are we doing? <laughs> We're waiting for him to come out and beat the shit out of him. I think I got this board. All right. I'll I'll just ready. Uh. uh uh, if they told us the to leave, I, I don't think they're coming out. Yeah. I'm not going to waste the rage. I'm going back in. He hit me. He hit me. I'm going to go in. It's getting better. I'm right behind you, buddy. All right. Uh, so. I want to make an appointment. Door creaks <laughs> open. Oh, you were and... wrong. One second. Oh. Boom. Everything goes dark. Uh, just making sure what you all can see. Nothing? I can Not see the... But I have devil sight, I, so I, that I makes can... sense. What's that? I have devil sight, so I can see everything. But that you can see everything. To. Perfect. That's exactly what you're supposed to see. I can see uh, fog or war, if that counts. Yeah. Uh, so you see one of these guys, Poppy. You see one of them pop out, uh, and beginning to start to go into this frenzy. Just crazy frenzy looking at Barney and, and the small amount of blood that uh, Barney is, is bleeding. I know bleeding is in quotes there. But uh, oozing. <laughs> oozing out and one. A pokey. He's poking me. He's poking me. As Barney just out of the, everything just goes black and all of a sudden you feel like you're getting stabbed everywhere. It's coming from oh. this, like all the way around me or the attacks are yeah. kind of coming from the northeast. Like from the doorway ish. Like yeah. From okay. the doorway where somebody might have just walked out. Yeah. 
Bernie's gonna yell out. I've been stabbed multiple times and I'm losing. I'm gonna assume the fart noises are what it sounds like when Barney is stabbed. <laughs> I don't know if you choose to share that with uh, the rest of them or not. So I'm not going to say anything. Who are you talking to? To you, Poppy Milk. Oh, yeah. Another another guy just came out. <laughs> He's standing right next to Ari. To your left. I, I assume I have Riddick eyes right now. Yeah. Here's the only eyes that work. And uh, can you see? Nope. Cannot see from it. Yes. That begs the question. Do the devils have devil sight? Yes, they do. Every one of them. It's on their stat block. And uh, Luke, you feel, you kind of hear flapping of wings. It, it sounds a little different from Poppy's wings. Um, more like a bat's. And uh, you feel something jab you kind of right in the side of the neck as... Uh, Something stings into you and uh, feel this thing of poison as you fail your uh, saving throw. This is going to fluke, right? Yeah. Oh, you need to fix your hit points. Uh, we can't edit our own. Yeah, so I in your... I had 17. I had it fixed. Did you? Is it that not seems working? low. We're only level two. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah, the CR10 yeah, encounter. Just it's just seems a it's just weak. Barney that's so crazy out of whack. Yes. I'm a barbarian. Get get to to no, Seventeen is correct. All right. Uh, so you feel this poison sting into you. Uh, as you take eight more points of poison damage. And then you hear this lapping of wings move away a little bit. Can I get an op attack? Uh, does... Can you see it? You cannot see it, no. No, but I just, it just stung me. I can at least try to swap it. But you can't take an opportunity attack unless you can see whatever's leaving yeah i think that that's is why invisibility is so nice okay yeah. all right uh, I'm just gonna... i was watching a couple of people talking about the new player's handbook and there's some pretty decent updated rules i think i, I didn't watch it that much but barney well, Barney doesn't understand why he can't see, so, uh, but he thinks there's somebody, like, in this square here, so he's going to okay. try to attack him. Okay. Uh, so let me get you targeting. Uh, you will have disadvantage. He's going to drop the board that he, because it didn't seem to really do any extra damage, and he's going to just use his war hammer. Okay. You are targeting it. He should have. Oh no! You should have disadvantage. And then he's going to attempt to run into the room. Uh, you are not able to push your way past unless you're going to use your action to, which you use to attack. Yeah. 
Um, Otherwise, you'd be able to attempt to shove by, you know, to pass through the square. Yeah, and I, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know. There's anybody in the way, so I'm gonna try to get to there then. Okay. Yeah, that's easy enough. Right. Like he's trying to get in the door, but he can't. But mm -hmm. he can squeeze if he wanted to, probably under him. But he's probably gonna have to see him and all that crap. So he's like, Rrr! trying to maintain his rage. Does fairy fire beat magical darkness or not? I don't believe it does. Uh -uh. No. It negates invisibility, I believe. Yeah. yeah, I know. I could tell that. It says it casts light, but I didn't know what that meant. Okay. I am going to try to hex him with the DM recommended dexterity hex. The guy next to... Can I tell which one of them was concentrating on a spell or they, they got you poker face? You didn't see the spell casting. Okay. So you're not sure who cast the spell. You just knew that the door opened and lights went out. Hex you for that one. I'll hex you for that one. None of them look like they're pooping? Come on. That's a hit. Did not resist that. Then I think I'll uh, bravely shout uh, the approximate locations. One devil between Barney and Fluke, one devil to the left of Ari. Then I'm going to scream and try to fly over here to get out of the uh, <laughs> <their> sight. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, this one is going to continue to work on Barney. And uh, hack once. Can we still poke me? Twice. And misses on that one. And uh, then he's going to move a little bit. You feel him shift and adjust position. Barney, you feel like he's kind of right to the south of you now. I think he's right here. Pointing. Not right. that... He understands right. that they can't see him when he points, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> uh, I will, um, uh, I'll attack the one to, uh, to my left. I'm going to just, uh, pull out my, uh, my dagger and try to stab it. Okay. Um, can you, uh, can you target that for me, John? Yeah. Give me one second just to throw. Thanks. The... Blinded condition on you. Ah, okay. So you don't have to worry, worry about remembering. Um, and that is number one. So you are targeting him now. All right, great. Uh, and I'm going to uh, Booming Blade. Okay. It doesn't matter. I hit. Um, but because I have mobile, uh, I can move away um and mm -hmm. i try to uh move away i probably bump into the uh the building over here no there is no building there right there's no building there yeah all right well i'll move uh i'll just move to there and uh see if i can see anything oh i got caught on the side yeah right about there in the square yeah right about there, so there. uh but i'm still blind huh uh, you are, well, you are not blinded, but the, uh, everything's still dark. Oh, okay. So I've moved far, far enough out now. You that, move uh, far enough out that you can okay. see that there is a band of darkness. All right. Uh, uh, th th it's just in front of the door. Move away from the door. 
<laughs> yeah, I can't see the effect edge because I can't see magical darkness at all. Exactly. That's, that's it's awesome. It's like completely gone for you. <laughs> yeah, it's not even I'm nothing. going to put my hand on the wall and just start walking backwards until the wall moves and then I'm going to walk forward to the set to Okay. Uh, moving one step over, the There's... wall is up to your north now. So you want to head towards, kind of towards Poppy Milk? I'm following the wall until I'm out of the darkness. Okay. One, two, uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Your speed is forty. Forty? Are you out of the darkness yet? He was out of the darkness when he <laughs> took a five. Oh yeah, step. you were, you were <laughs> out of the darkness here. Five feet, okay. and you're out of the darkness. Just reclick your character; it should show you the circular edge. I do not see a circular edge. Um, let me switch back to my two, the boring view, the top down, crap view. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I um, hear you. Go back. Okay, now I went back. All right, so I don't see anything out here. Uh, I'm going to stumble back over to here and uh, take out my only healing potion. All right. I hope I remembered where that door was because I'm going to go up to it. And... All right. Uh, the space that you tried to walk through is occupied. So you're going to bump into something if you move into that space. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'll chop it with my hand axe instead. All right. Let me throw the blinded effect on you. Uh, just to automate that. Uh, why are you prone? I don't think it was removed from me after I was incapacitated after the last fight. All right, it's gone now. Okay. Because he's had a long day. And you wanted to... Uh, he's rather... I'll just roll it in the, the chat. chat. He's always... All right, you're roll. targeting him. That's a hit. With disadvantage, but nice. still a hit. Yeah, oh, so no sneak attack. That should be automated. I just rolled it on Barney. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I don't get sneak attack in melee with the hand. So, Barney, restore yourself three hit points. <laughs> Good Your thing I didn't just die. stabbed you in the middle of the Oh, I have to do it on my right. character sheet, don't I? <laughs> I try to do it in the like combat tracker. lightly tracker. grazed him. No, I only get sneak attack with a hand axe if I throw it. That's my turn. Hey, Barney, he's right next to you, right here. I'm pointing at him. Don't you see him? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, I thought it was just me that couldn't see. I think I lost my eyeballs again. Hey, Barney, you feel another one. I'm out of the door standing next to you. Oh, there's another one. This one smells like clamp strips. Your first swing is a mess. Also, a this guy's distracted. It's because I told him he smells like a hit. Two points of damage. Takes one step back into the room. Yeah, but he's taking like 38 points of damage, roughly. So, like 30, maybe 35 so far. <laughs> Because the first attack wasn't resisted. All right. Uh, so this one. This. Hmm. 
right? Comes running over. For those that divide chat uh, healing. You shriek. <laughs> and uh, sees a juicy morsel. Oh my. Takes a swing. Once. Maybe because they weren't reset or something. I reset them all. Sorry. Oh, were the the chat heals not working? I forgot to pay out. From last oh. Time. There we go. There you go. Still maintaining concentration. Sounded wet. That sounded like you had a lump in it. <laughs> so I'm going to take some steps back. Ship of Fools gives some healing to Barney. Okay. It took you just, and, I think, uh, two steps to get out of the, the darkness. But okay. So if, and if then... you wanted to <laughs> go there, that would have been 10 feet of movement, and you can choose how you want to finish. Okay. Um,. I think I'd like to try to go towards uh, or free. Um, so let's stay out of the darkness to see. Like, so, uh, oh, and remember that building's not actually there. Yeah, the building. There. Yeah, that the building's, building's not, not there. So there. I don't know really how. Um, like, I want to. Yeah, I want to move like over here. I think. But I don't know how that'll work if I can see that guy. There's now. line of sight written drawn all over there, so. Oh. Um, Let's I go mean, there. I'll put you there. But. I, you won't like actually over there see somewhere. anything. Yeah. So I just kind of wanted to see if the, by going over towards or if I'd be able to see any guys, but any bad guys. But. If you get to there. You can see that guy. And you can see the guy to your north. Ruining my suit. Yeah. So, now I will uh, I will try to toll the dead on him. Succeeding on that saving throw. You that can't... had with advantage. Magic resistance. Dang, dang, diddy, dee. Devils, demons, and fiends. Anybody else? <laughs> and we're going to start the top of the round with a 10 minute break. 10 minute break? All right. All right, I'm going to start a timer over here for 10 minutes and put the slideshow on, and we're going to go get some some drinks and use the facilities and stuff, but uh, we'll be back in 10 minutes or so. As soon as I get this timer started, um, I'll get the slideshow going. So go get a drink. Hurry back. we got 10 minutes. See ya.
making our way back from break. I had a little uh, leftover uh, piece of sausage on a hot dog bun. Yum. Had some nori snacks. And these are my new favorite potato chips in the whole wide world. Avocado oil. Avocado oil. They're nice. good. They're buttery. And they're... I guess if you're going to eat potato chips, that's probably your best option. <laughs> <laughs> Avocado All oil. All right. Start a round is hack. All right. Round three. Second. There's somebody right here. <laughs> I'm again going to try to move into that space. Somebody Most... there. All right. Then as my action, I am going to take the help action to give Barney advantage on his next attack. Barney, he's right here. He's right here, Barney. Hit him. Hit him now. Hit him, Barney. Hit him. <laughs> if he takes his attack before the end of my before the beginning of my next turn, he has advantage. All right, very good. Nice. I was going to do reckless attack, but that'll work too. Since I have dis since I have a they have advantage to hit me anyways. Mine has been well has been doing it. You hit a lot harder than I do. The problem is is I don't hit often. I'm going to step forward and as I do, grab my tonfa. <laughs> not in public, you're not. That's every time you say that, I'm like, <laughs> are you playing with your tonfa again in public? Do you have a banana flavored popsicle? <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's funny how you can tell the flavor or something just looking at the color. It's got to be banana. <laughs> banana popsicles are the second best popsicles ever behind root beer popsicles. I like me a good old haagen chocolate vanilla ice cream popsicle. I have a giant bag of Otter Pops. Well, I don't know what an Otter Pop is. Do, do what? What? Were, you, were you ever a kid? Were you like 21 when you were born? He's a Russian well, spy. We just outed him. We were poor. We didn't. We couldn't have no ice cream from the ice cream man. Uh, ice like, cream. Out of pops. It's like a hundred for a dollar. Yeah. yeah, it's like a basically a little plastic water. tube with frozen Kool Aid in it. That's what. <laughs> I, I didn't know they were called otter pops. We just called them popsicles. Now these are the yeah, Otter Pop was a particular Popsicle brand. Stick. Yeah, Otter Pop just. Stick. What is this automatic? Uh, Otter Pop's are a wrap. brand name for the rich kids. No, the rich and the twice. Kids. Try to follow up on the third one, and there's too many pokey bits. Pokey Hard to bits. hug on this guy. The party's going on a three. Good lord. Might not even get to go. He could be unconscious by then. All right, uh, Morgan. Something reaches out of the darkness to take a swipe at you. Once. With advantage now. Why did you get it? Because he so goes into a him? blood oh. frenzy. And time his opponent doesn't have all their hit points. Ari. Alright. Uh, well, I can see this one. So uh, I'm going to move right up to it and try to stab it. Uh, and booming blade on it if I hit. But, and does not hit. But uh, I can move away because I've 
Gap Mobile, and uh, that's it. Thing looks over at Hack trying to yell out to kill it, so he's gonna take a couple of swipes at Hack. Ow. Ow. Second attack. Ow. Immediately after attacking him, I'm gonna start apologizing. I'm so sorry. Barney. Uh, Barney still thinks the one's in front of him, right? Yep. All right, so he is going to reckless attack this guy since I don't have. Hack is yelling and screaming at you, telling you exactly where to hit. Yeah, he but Hack is unconscious, <laughs> bleeding on my shoes currently, so he can't really help me. No, the help action would still apply. No, the help action was something. Oh. I it, thought he. I thought he said until. No, it turn. said if you, as long as you attack before the beginning of my next turn, you get the advantage. Oh, okay. How much I've already doing? done the help action. Yeah. I'm doing it. You got. Hack has received a potion of heal. From cheater in the chat, Valdrix. Will you uh, target him for me? Me. Uh, you are currently targeting him. Okay, and I need to be blinded or just dis disadvantage. Well, I have advantage, so uh, just regular roll have... would be fine then. If it's I'm blinded and I have advantage, it'll be a regular roll. Okay, now I can yep. advantage. And I'm warhammering him. Darkness. I'm just going to stay where I'm at. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to move in front of the door. Like, to block the door. No one's not okay. just coming through this doorway, damn it. I'm blocking okay. it. And that's... Yeah. Damage... There's somebody right here! Still partially resisted. Morgan. Okay, so I can't see anybody, but I don't think I can get into the fray.